Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Destiny video. It's Tuesday, it's reset day, you know the deal by now. I'm here to tell you guys what is new in the world of Destiny this week. And this week we actually have something new. Don't forget the Crimson Days drops today. It is not live just yet. It drops this evening, that is 6pm UK time. 10am Bungie time, basically the usual Iron Banner time is when it goes live. And with that we get the brand new Crucible mode, Crimson Doubles. But on top of that we also get some new emotes, some new shaders. A chance at some 320 ghosts, the chocolate and the rose petal ones. Although it's probably going to be random and I'm probably going to get 300 ones. But either way, this is your chance to get the elusive 320 ghost. And on top of that there will also be the changes coming in the February update. Things like no special ammo at the start of 3v3 modes like elimination, salvage, etc. And of course some of the other balancing things and some other stuff on top. They'll be dropping patch notes later on this evening so I'll have some videos for you guys then. I'll have videos on Crimson Days, some of the new stuff and of course all the patch notes as well. So stay tuned this evening for some more Destiny videos. But in the meantime, it's reset day so let's talk about what's new. First of all, your Nightfall this week is the Shield Brother Strike and your modifiers are as follows. Firstly, you have Arc Burn where of course Arc Damage from any source is greatly increased. On top of that, you have Juggler where no ammo drops for your equipped weapon, so make sure you get that rotation going. And then lastly, you have Ironclad where more enemies have shields. Just three modifiers this week, a little light, but either way, that is your Nightfall. And of course, on top of that, as I say every single week, make sure you do at least three Vanguard Heroic Strikes. I appreciate most of the stuff in Crimson Days will likely come from post-match rewards and random drops or things that you can buy from Test Everest. However, in the event there is anything that you can buy with legendary marks or just say you might need them to buy a different weapon during the week, then it's always worth staying topped up. So completing three of these this week will of course yield 30 legendary mocks. On top of that, your raid challenge this week is of course Golgroth. Last week was Warpriest, this week is Golgroth, that means next week will be Oryx. But if you want another chance at any of those 320 items, perhaps you want to infuse something, maybe you haven't got the piece yet, either way, this is your chance to do so. Now moving on from there, if we stop off at the tower and visit Lord Shaxx, these are of course your weekly Crucible bounties. Completing the first five will complete the sixth, and handing in the sixth will give you Nightfall tier rewards. And for those of you guys that might be new to Destiny, just in case you don't know, if you're not seeing these at Lord Shaxx, that is because you need to complete the Crucible quest chain. Now moving over from there, if we stop off at the Reef and speak to Petrovenge, these are of course your three taken wanted bounties this week. Completing these again are your source of reputation. So if you're after packages, maybe you're after like that Boolean Gemini, if you're new to Destiny, either way, or whatever it is, completing these will go towards your reputation. Now finally, it wouldn't be a weekly reset without a tier 3 Court of Oryx, and this week your boss is Kagur. That is of course the Witch or the Wizard where you have to shoot the eyes to take down the Ogre, and taking down the Ogre takes down the shield, and you can then deal damage to the boss. Generally speaking, it's not that difficult, especially if you focus on the eyes to get that buff, but either way, that is what you need to know. And that is pretty much it. Again, as a super quick reminder, don't forget to check back on the channel this evening for some more Crimson Days videos, but until then, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below and let me know if you're looking forward to playing Crimson Days, and thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time. Peace out.